How's it going? I live here in New Mexico and I fly one of these. This thing is a powered parachute. If you're not familiar on what this thing is, it's not a uh, boat or anything like that. It's actually an aircraft. Uh, it's considered an ultralight. And uh, this one's a two seater. You actually have to have a license. So I actually have a sports pilot license. I am uh, busting this thing out. It's been a while since I have flown like last year, I think it was like August or October of last year was my last flight. Um, this one is a Predator. It was co-designed by a NASA engineer. But my next, my next issue is um, I, I, every time I do videos, Every time I do videos, um, I always try to get better audio. So I've been trying to figure out better ways to get audio signals. So I've got a uh, GoPro adapter for the audio. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to try that. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this works. Audio check one, two, audio check one, two. Audio check one, two. Audio check one, two. I'm gonna have to tape this or something if this works because that's gonna get really annoying. Check it, check it, one, two, one, two. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, one, two. Let's go ahead and warm her up. Check one, two, one, two. With the audio. That'll give me an idea there, I think. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that sounds as good as it does. I just checked it through the GoPro and it does sound good. And it's getting very, very little engine noise. But, but anyways, I think I'm gonna roll with that for tomorrow morning. I mean, you can hear me just fine and everything. Let me show you what I got going on here. It's kind of funny. I have the GoPro. You have to buy this adapter to run the audio. I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. Then I have another adapter going into an iPhone earbuds. Let you get them with the phone. I just cut the other side off, taped it up, put this around the, uh, the microphone part of it. And I just put this in between my ear and the uh, headset. It's really not, yeah, I can't even tell it's there, to be honest with you, because it, it's recording audio just fine. I'm just gonna have to remember to, we're gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like turn the GoPro on and off. I can't just leave it on. So I'm gonna have to watch the battery power on that, try to get the whole flight in. So we'll try that tomorrow. Hopefully that'll work. So I think I'm gonna load it up, go get some fuel. All right, so heading to the uh, only gas station here in uh, my small, small hometown. I think the population is like a thousand people here. <laughs> wonder what kind of questions I'm gonna get today. Every time I take this thing to the gas station, I get all kinds of random questions. You know, I say, did you fly that thing, boy? You know, yeah, I get some uh, interesting questions for sure. Yeah, it's been a while since I've flown. I'm already getting a little bit of butterflies. I know I know darn well as soon as I take off and then catch air and get, get, up, get up in the air, those butterflies will go away real fast. And, Okay, just got back from putting fuel in this thing and boy, I'm really glad that I went to the gas station to put fuel in it, because check this out. The uh, overflow line right here actually just 
busted off. I think it got too hot at one point. It just, just over time, you know, these these uh, tubes just start looking pretty bad. But broke off and put it back on. Put a zip tie on it just in case as a double double protection measure there. Glad I went to go get fuel or I would have been dealing with this in the morning. You don't want to deal with stuff like that in the mornings, you know. You just want to be able to do a run up, uh, do your pre-flight and take off. Might have a couple of uh, like a small rain shower coming in. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this thing on board or just, eh, I'll probably just go ahead and unload it. I'll load it in the morning and we'll uh, take off to Carrizozo, New Mexico airport. See if we can't get up in the air. A little good morning. You can see the moon. I'm fixing the loader up. Onto there. I'm headed to the airport. It's a little breezy up here this morning, so hopefully it's uh, showing to be calm down there where the airport is. So let's see what happens. Let's get it loaded. I'm, I'm all loaded up. It's barely like five o'clock, so I've got plenty of time to get there and get set up for sure. But um, it's concerning to me a little bit because it is breezy up here. It, it's, the weather's showing it to be completely calm down there right now, so I guess the only thing to do is to get down there and find out. But it is concerning when the wind's blowing up here. wind is raging down here this morning already um, I got here before the Sun came up and I waited for a little bit and it just got progressively worse so what's interesting about this morning's weather pattern was it was showing it to be like 5 to 10 max uh, around the town and then on the outskirts of town it was maybe like 15 to 20 ish um, so I guess the outskirt winds are, they're coming through town like crazy. When I first got here, there was a southwest wind, which is very strange for this area. It usually starts off with an eastern wind. Um, so I thought to myself, hmm, something's not right here. Because I've had quite a bit of experience with this area, and I've had uh, some bad experiences and <laughs> some good experiences. A lot more good than bad, thank God. But um, I know this area pretty well now, and I thought to myself, eh, something's not right if it's if it's five o'clock in the morning and the southwest winds are already kicking. So I held off, um, and uh, thankfully I did. You know, it, it just progressively got worse. So I'd be, you know, I might be up in this right now trying to land. And uh, that's just, I mean, it can be done. I can fly in this kind of weather, but I don't like to. It's not fun for me. It's just, it becomes more, I don't know. It just, it's just, it's not as cool. It's not as fun. So when you're a pilot and when it, when it comes down to flying, it's all about decisions. Where you're taking off, what the weather's doing, what your capability is as a pilot. You know, a lot of people get in these things and just take off without any experience or training or anything like that. You see them taking off next to power lines and crazy things like that. And that's what gets you hurt. You know, I'm all about safety is my number one factor. So this morning I called it, um, you know, I saw that southwest wind and I saw the flags moving pretty good. And I thought, well, eh, I better hang on and I'm glad I did now. So um, tomorrow morning is looking a lot better. Um, try again in the morning, you know, getting up early in the morning like this and not accomplishing your goal sucks, but uh, that's how it goes. You know, that's why a lot of people just give up on this sport because the weather window is uh it's it's sometimes really small it's all right we'll try again in the morning well 
if you notice over here, guys, I'm right by the airport. And you can hear the rain coming down right now, so. Unreal. Unreal. All right, I got to get out of here before I get the uh, PPC completely soaked. I don't have anything to cover it with. Ay, ay, ay. Sun's coming up. I need to kind of hurry up or I'm going to miss this eastern eastern breeze to take off. Clear prop. I got the uh, shoe set up already. Text the wife. Let her know I'm fixing to take off. All right. All right. Warming her up just a little bit here. And we should be ready to rock here in just a minute. Looks like the GoPro is on. Should be able to see the shoot just fine there. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> 130, we've got 10 more degrees. Let's go ahead and announce ourselves. Let's see, 122 point, that should be good. Carrizozo, traffic, power parachute, November 33 Romeo, Juliet. Fixing to take off runway six towards the east. We'll be climbing uh, to altitude, then uh, exiting southbound. Carries over the traffic. Okay. I think we're ready. Ah, before we go. Lord Father, thank you for a wonderful morning. Please keep me safe. Do this thing, man. I always gotta give it to God, right? Here we go. takeoff but that shoe was she was doing something funky there everything looks good though you know that's that's Carazozo though I, I nicknamed it Carablozo but that's just me yeah we're getting some some decent winds it seems like right off the surface, you just start getting some crazy winds. So hopefully once we break uh, past like 500, it'll smooth out a bit. Yeah, it's really warm up here. Wow, I'm really surprised. Excellent. Flying pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and get out of, uh, get out of the airport airspace. We'll just go in between these houses here. I always try to, um, I always try to fly on stuff that I can land on. You guys can see out here, this is the uh, lava flow of the Valley of Fires by Carazozo. Wow, look at the mountains out there. They look beautiful this morning. Look at all the cows down there. Looks like they're get, getting them some feed and drinking out of the spring this morning. Man, we're holding at 620 feet flying just nice and level right now. This is just really nice. Smooth sailing so far. Direct east is, you know, where the sun's coming up right there. Wow, it is so beautiful this morning. Unreal. Oh, there's Carrizoza right there. Airport light on over there. Not a very big town. If the, uh, if the county seat wasn't there, I don't think that town would exist. It's like they have the county seat, which they have the courthouse and stuff like that. And then, um, and then there's like a major all subs right there. And that's, that's about it. Sorry, I'll try to keep the microphone a little closer to my mouth so that they can hear me a little better. 670 feet, climbing just a bit. But man, it's smooth up here, so I'm not complaining. Wood might level out just a little bit. I kind of like to see if we see any antelope, any coyotes over here this morning. Wow, yeah, it is beautiful this morning, man.
pretty cool mountain range over here. Oh, more cows. Pretty much everything in Lincoln County is surrounded by ranch land. Brrr. Doesn't look like we're disturbing them too bad. They're kind of looking up here going, what are you, what is that? Definitely don't want to disturb the ranch cows. That is people's steaks and hamburgers. <laughs> Look at that sunrise. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Let's get a picture of that. Wow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Too early for that, huh? <laughs> wow, what a beautiful morning. Look at those colors. I mean, just blue, dark blue, purples, orange, yellow. Oops. Don't want to change the channel. I just wanted to turn up the volume. Yeah, volume's up. Making sure my radio is on just in case we the airplanes flying at 540 feet. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, that's what's cool about power parachutes, paragliders, or uh, power paragliding, uh, PPGs, PPCs, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can fly low and slow, you can fly high, and you can just cruise and just, just enjoy the flight, you know, and just have fun with it. Well, there is the massive absolutely massive Carrizozo Pond. <laughs> we got a duck down there, Goose. Oh, look at all the cattails, man. A couple of years ago, I think they put some stuff in to kill the cattails and it just, from what I understand, it ruined the pond. It still looks pretty, I don't know, it still looks kind of gnarly. Huh? Whoa! We're getting some serious stuff right here, man. Woo! Yeah, bumpy. This is why I don't like to come on the north side. It's always like this. I say we head back to the south side towards those mountains. Maybe we can see some cool stuff that way. Oh yeah, ride them cowboy. All right, 880 feet, still climbing. I think we'll kind of level it out right here. It's pretty smooth. This is cool. We're still climbing a little bit. Yeah, very smooth up here. Looks like an old Ford, huh? 
Oh, shoot. I didn't see all these cows right there. Ah. Sorry, cows. I didn't scare any of them, so I'm good. That sun's really creeping up now. Won't be long before that southwest wind starts rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, here's the cooler air. It's down here. Ah, that feels nice. <laughs> Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> That's strange. The air is really warm up here uh, this morning. I'm pretty surprised. Usually it's pretty dang cold, but this year has been a massive heat wave. I'm sure you guys can uh, attest to that. So here is the massive lava field. It originated way up there towards the north. Uh, it's not much of a volcano. It's just a little bitty, uh, just a little bitty volcano, really. It's not much to look at. We flew out there one time, and oh, there's an antelope right there. Just chilling on that bank right there. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, I'll try to zoom in on him. There's a couple of them. Right there. There they are, there's three of them. Nice. Oh, those guys are so pretty, I like them. Very cool. Just out here farting around, man. Having fun. It just feels good to be back out here after a year. I will say I was nervous. I was nervous getting back out here. But uh, I knew once I got up in the air, it'd be all good. And yeah, it's all good. Let's see how weird it is down there. Sure had a funky takeoff, tell you that much. A shoot just didn't want to, didn't want to do its thing. That's all right. But yeah, looks about the same east, almost northeast. That almost shows direct east there. Yeah, there's a little bit of bunker, bunking around there a little bit. Oh, kind of variable. You got a donkey over here? Something on it. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yee! Well, let's see how it goes here. Try to get just a slow descent. I really feel like doing a touch and go to be honest with you. Let's try it. Let's try a touch and go. See, it gets weird here. You get some weird crosswinds happening. And touch. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Now we're just bouncing up and down a little bit here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> This is interesting. Yeah, we'll go ahead and set her down. Flare. Kill it. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Woo! <laughs> I love it, man. That was awesome. That was an awesome first back, first flight back. Great take, uh, weird takeoff, but good landing. <laughs> Power parachute, November 33, Romeo go Juliet on runway six. Uh, I'll be away from the radio for some minutes to pack up the chute. Carazosa. Yeah, buddy. Cool. Still recording.